Hear me out, okay? In the course of whole human history, the worst Oscars to ever air on live TV. The worst Academy Award. Purely lecture-oriented show, mostly filled with humble bragging Hollywood allies trying to push down messages and causes that they just learned about down our throat. We give this one to our wolf. Oh! Three hours of commercialized garbage, none of which was about films or filmmaking, and most definitely was not about celebrating them at all. It's incredible. My mom met my dad, they had sex. It's amazing. Like, do you understand? I'm here. You know what I mean? So, I'm so happy to be alive. Anthony Hopkins winning the Best Actor, of course, was a surprise to everyone, but we all agree it was a well-deserved award. But on the other hand, Chadwick Boseman would have been a worthy choice, and also Riz Ahmed. Anthony Hopkins, the father. <laughs> The Academy. YouTube, Twitter and Reddit are blowing up rooting for Chadwick Boseman and Riz Ahmed. One of the talking points for controversy online is that, that the best picture was presented way earlier in the award show rather than later and the best actor award was presented way later in the award show. Other than that, the evening was somewhat eventful. Best actress Frances McDormand's howling and whatever that was and the booty shakes and the sex talk about the parents. It was awful. <laughs> And thankfully, we see more diverse groups of nominees and winners this year. But one must admit that Chloe Zhao winning the Best Director Award was one of the most amazing moments in the Academy Awards. Chloe Zhao, Nomad Rand, come down. I have always found goodness in the people I met everywhere I went in the world. So, this is for anyone who has the faith and the courage to hold on to the goodness in themselves and to hold on to the goodness in each other. Dude, why do I try to sound like Ron Burgundy from the movie Anchorman? This is Channel 4, Stay Classy, California. So Daniel Kaluuya's speech was amazing. Other than ABC, American Broadcast Company, which is Disney, ruining the Oscars with horrible TV production and camera angles and direction, I would suggest you to go and see all the short movies that were nominated on the Oscars. Actually, do yourself a favor and go and see all the animated short films and short films that were nominated on the Oscars. Another issue that arose was they didn't show any movie clips at all in the award show. Most people have no idea what they are referring to, which movie they are referring to, or even the name of the movie. They haven't heard them. So it would have been wiser to show movie clips just like before. In the end, I get what they are going for, an old, boring, classy TV event. Well, they failed to even deliver that. Honestly, at this point in time, you can safely assume that they would say, because of COVID, it was terrible. But this is beyond COVID, this is beyond terrible. But this is mostly just Hollywood phonies patting each other's back for an award that they didn't even deserve. To see more of my content, sub up down below or up here. See you next time. Bye. Salam. Hello, Dad Nation. Thank you for coming. So... The weather is partly cloudy today.